Oh, it's a bleak start to 2020, bloody three. Dundee's just dreek. It's dreek. No, it's not only dreek. Everyone seems to have left and we're the only ones left. I think every, I think every business is just parked in over Chris. Do you not notice anything? The lights are the on. The lights are on. I thought you were like glistening. <laughs> You were like one of those one of those vampires. You're usually like a vampire out of shite. Can you sparkle in sunshine? Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I'll just carry on. Don't worry about it. 2023, yeah. Is, what, what is this in the Chinese calendar? The year of the mole rat. The year of the wombat. The year of the scabby looking donkey you find in a bit of waste ground. I'm oh, year, back. I think I'm Year of the Pig, which is the best one. I'm isn't Year it? of the Dragon. Ah, oh, it's not the best one. Everyone likes it because of the film. No, I'm not. It's, I don't oh, right. I think I, I'm Year of the Pig. I don't know anything paying attention to this nonsense. Th- it's nonsense, but you get cool. What did I drop? Oh, it's a, got off a log. Oh, it's not going well. Yeah, so there's no one in Dundee. And well, not only that, <laughs> it's incredibly misty. Oh, it's very misty. You can't see anything, there's mm. no one about. It's kind of heaven. Oh. Well, I was I was walking about. I was pl- I was, in my head was that can twenty eight days later tune can at the beginning. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just never saw. Are you the first person I've seen today? There's nobody about. Just nobody. I passed like three cars. It's the strangest thing. Shite Street has just become vast. It's like a it's a Mayan pyramid of like cities and tires. <laughs> the thing what is, what's going on there? Why do people do that? Because you can just dump your shit. Just they go down there in cars, just drive oh it to no, the tip. There's, there's neighbours of mine, they have a van. Yeah. Yeah, outside their house is just this vast pile of polystyrene and cardboard. It's been there for two months. Cardboard in the rain. You know right. what I'm saying? When you go across the recycling yeah, centre, right, it. if it's a wee van or it's something, free. they just take it. They didn't, yeah, no, you, no, you don't no. need to go and wait. They just no, take it and no, dump it. It's not a problem. No. Oh, right. You get rid of a city for free. I cut my finger. Look. Oh, God. It's like, you a, know, sti- it's like a stigmata. Do you know how I've done that? A poke in your Yesterday, house. a particularly stabby jobby. I was in the studio. Uh huh. Oh. Well, I'm here, mm. and I looked at my tape dispenser, and there's That's a blade. Yeah, yeah. And there's a cover on it, and I thought, you know what, I need to put that cover on because that blade is. De- and I run my finger along it to demonstrate to myself how sharp it was. Like a jaggy. And I, yeah, mm. and I cut myself. It's razor sharp. It's, it's not a, only jaggy. It's serrated. It's, yeah. Yeah, but it's got. It's been sharpened as well. And there's a cover that goes over it because it's so sharp. Mm. And I run my finger along it to demonstrate mm. to myself how dangerous it was. I was bleeding everywhere. Oh. During the Second World War, <clears throat> if you had serrated daggers, yes. If your enemy if the enemy troops caught you, they would just shoot you. All oh, right, okay. Seen as cruel. Seen as cruel. Cruel. And there's a dagger you get now mm. that has three blades on it and they twist and you can't stitch someone. So once it goes in, you can sell it. them in pound stretch under. <laughs> You'll probably get them. Well, there's there. a guy called. Can out the t- old tactical thing. Yeah. Everybody that was ever in the special forces. Yeah. All their businesses. They don't do security anymore. It's too dangerous. Okay. All of them just do weekends for office staff, team building exercises. Yes, I've seen these and things. And tactical shit. Yeah. So there's a guy called Cock. Okay. I think he course. calls himself Conch or Koch. Okay. And he was in the Navy SEALs. Those Navy SEALs are tedious. Well, the, the problem is with the Navy Seals. Collection. I find that there there's far more Navy Seals training people than there were Navy, Navy Seals. Seals. <laughs> yes. Gold team, oh. Alpha team. Oh, what? All right, I'll let you carry. But on. he had this knife, yeah. so he was showing these knives he'd had during his time in Navy Seals. And obviously, all these companies were desperate to get the Navy, particularly now. Oh, our, our watch is used by the Navy Seals, uh-huh. so all these young professionals buy them. But there was one. Blade, this fucking knife he'd been issued. Okay, I shit you not, it was this size. It was like fucking ten inch long thing, huge thing. But at the hilt, it had these two spikes. And do you know what they were for? What? Using as a grappling hook. Now, <clears throat> I believe this knife you're talking about was only a, 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 available to people who were into that sort of thing. I don't think it was. No, the Navy SEALs were issued with it. Were they issued yes. that? Yes, well, oh, Gotch God. says. He said it, so he must be but right. But he says, imagine throwing a knife up I think in that the was air. the problem. Because if it hit off a rock and come bouncing back, everyone runs away no screaming. Had them in the Osama <gasps> Bin Laden mission, kid. Oh, nonsense. It's nonsense. Fucking but 
Watch online uh-huh. I think you may have seen him It's Bud's something Oh yeah. And he's uh, An ex-Navy SEAL guy He's He must be in his 70s uh. He would kill you Today oh, yeah. He would fucking oh, kill okay, you okay. His wife Would kill you Yeah 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 They're all tough people It's a tough life Yeah But he's funny as fuck okay. And he Finds people who are faking Being oh, SEALs yeah. Now he doesn't go after people with mental illness. He doesn't. No. There's a lot of cruel people that do that. Yeah, you know, yeah, attack yeah. people on the street. Don't Some do that. guy in a shopping centre is obesely overweight, and he's kidding on. He's got the medal of valor. Yeah, d- just, just leave, leave him alone. Them, yeah. No, this guy goes after people that get jobs in politics. Through was it. a guy George Santos just now? I believe the shit he's come away. Oh with yeah, yeah, is yeah. Extraordinary. He said he was uh, Jewish, and uh, when they said to him, "No, are you he Jewish?" He, he went Jewish. He said he's fucking. His grandparents fled the Holocaust. Yeah, and he and he said he was he was he's only openly gay man in this senate race. He had a wife. He's not gay. It's incredible. And People, he said he went. He crazy. worked for Goldman Sachs. He said he went to a top university. All lies. But it doesn't. There's no. We're post consequence world now. It doesn't matter. I've been watching now. You'll you'll know Brendan Schaub. Comedian But his, he's, he's his crimes are miniature Yeah his crimes are nothing He's just a shit comedian But he does something really weird yeah. I was watching him And he was saying um, He, he likes specialised mountain bikes Okay So he was working with them And he got a bike And then specialised had to come out And said we don't We've never dealt with him We don't know who he is This is nonsense Why would you say that? Because there's no consequence Exactly it's like you know. It does, I, uh, I, it's like that Logan Paul guy. Yeah, I don't know. I know nothing about the guy. Yeah, but to me, he's got a big fan base of young children, uh-huh. and he's he looks like he's about fifty year old. Yes, <laughs> he's quite it's a n- weird. We've, we've, he's a lot of bones in that head. We've gone full yeah. back to when we were kids. Yeah, John Noakes was a TV presenter. Yes. Like John Noakes was fine, but he was a he was an elderly man to be yeah, dealing with kids. That's it. I think hey, Logan Paul's the same. But anyway, he's selling these NFT eggs. Yes. And it's all just a fucking scam. It's a scam. And it, it's been uncovered as a scam. Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla. Uncovered. He's Guys wonderful. Uncovered. Yeah. Wonderful. But he he said, oh God, he, he just owned himself, Logan Paul, by saying, well, all these people I've been working with are all con men and crooks. Yeah. So and like, there's there's actual messages of him saying when they should do the rug pull and everything. It's a scam. He's, it's, it's a, a scam. scam. Now, Yesterday, my we are no scamming anybody. No, just to make sure what you get. Uh, We'll get to that in the next show. I've got actually something to talk about that. Upside down crisps. I was in here, and I like my tomato crisps, and I and I opened them up. So you like your prawn cocktail crisps then? I'm not going to do this with you. I'm not going to do it. It's the same flavour. It's so different. It's the same flavour. You're telling me, and you open skips and have a good sniff of them. That's the same as opening. Did tomato. I say did I say skips? There's prawn cocktail. I said prawn cocktail flavoured crisps like p- potato crisps. Skips are a whole that's not a crisp. Skips are the smell of a dundee Skip, lady. Skips are a snack. Skips are not a, cra- a crisp. They're they're a, right. No, okay. they're a snack. I'm not going to get in a fight over it's this because like I'm, pe- I'm I'm willing pe- to fucking pe- throw peanuts are not a crisp. Skips and peanuts are not crisps. That's quite simple, mate. I'm not doing this. I, f- I can feel myself. I could feel you just gently whew, throwing the hook and doing that, but I'm not doing it. Tomato. I could see the hook. So sorry, you were in here and you were eating some prawn cocktail crisps. No, I was eating tomato. And I uh, looked at the packet uh, uh-huh. and I'd opened them upside down. Fucking ruined. Ruined. Oh, you'd open from the bottom of the bag? No, that I, I just, oh God, I ate them, but they didn't taste the same. They didn't feel the same because I was eating the crisps upside down. You're a very strange individual. Now, I've said this to several people, including Susan, and she goes, she would put the crisps down. It's ruined. You fucking people are all idiots. <laughs> My girlfriend, she said the same. She went... You had no three idiots. Well, she said she'd just eat the packet as well. She wouldn't care. I always open a bag of crisps and open them. Oh, no, no, no. You you go to you go for pub lunches. That's I, what people at pub lunches I, do. I, I open them and open them. People that go to pub lunches open Because I'm never eating turn into a plate. No, no, no Because you're the kind of person Who'd eat a bag of crisps in the street You'd be walking along Eating a bag of crisps Yes Don't eat while you're moving I went out cycling last animals. night I even had dog stops to lick its arse I went out cycling last night And had a sandwich in one hand You've not, And No, no, you and stop And you sit and eat a bag of crisps this, this won't matter to you But I went out last night on my bike Uh-huh and it's got a new drive train on it. It's no got a dropper that. post. Okay, it means the, the saddle no, goes up and I down. And I had a great time. Oh, it's buttery smooth now. Okay. Okay. So today's show, uh-huh. after 10 minutes, we can get started. Mm-hmm. 
strange New Year traditions because we're in the New Year. Okay. In the UK or elsewhere? Around the world. Oh, fuck oh we're international, dude. Okay. We're international. In Spain, as the clock strikes 12, eat 12 grapes in quick succession. A choking hazard, I would say. I knew a girl. If you used the word choking around her, she'd start choking. Start to choke. If you if you go <coughs> choking, a grape go, oh, oh. a grape could choke you quite badly, but you you do tend to chew them. Not as bad as a mochi. Oh, they're dangerous. Mochi kills more people. Hot dogs are America's biggest killer. There was there was a some have guns. Th- yeah, more on guns. Hot dogs. Some no, the was, hot dogs have guns. Somebody was seriously trying to push a a square hot dog. What? Because if you if you choke on a a square hot dog, it leaves gaps with a corner. I'm not convinced with this medical this approach. This is true. So they're the bit. So that they could have saved millions of people with just with a square made, a square hot dog. But you know how, like in the seventies, loads of children were just killing themselves with pen caps in this country, and they put a hole in it. Yeah. Why don't you put a hole down the centre of a hot dog and oh, make no. it like a polo? It's like can if you fold your cock in half, you can't kind of piss properly. Oh, standing on the garden hose. Yeah. Gotcha. Pinching, the, it's called. Pinching. Pinching. This no, the biggest killer of children of our generation, my friend, yeah. was chest freezers, abandoned chest freezers. You're convinced of this. I think it's pen cups. Three kids died in my hometown of chest freezers in the same, in the same chest same. freezer. <laughs> they just never moved it. They'd all been fighting over a <laughs> scampi fry. This girl I was talking uh-huh. about that chokes uh-huh. when you say choking, Chokes, um. that was her. Um, she'd come and visit me every day. Okay. And and she was heavily pregnant. Okay. And she had nothing to do, so she came and visit me and I'd make her some food and whatever. Uh, and she had this paranoia. Uh-huh. She had two kids already. And when she had her first two kids, she shot herself while giving birth. Okay. And we'd remind we'd go That's Poof. part of the process. And she started crying. Yeah. Right? But it turned out fine because she didn't leave a stoolie for the baby to fall into She had massive Spraying diarrhea Apparently Oh wonderful It's empty in the and when the gunnels I, I'd, I'd come back To the UK And She had the baby And then I returned to the States Uh huh And she walked in And I just burst out laughing And she burst into tears Because she knew why I was laughing Because uh-huh. <laughs> everyone They couldn't wait to tell me She had diarrhea <laughs> It's not something you tell people. It's her own fault. <laughs> it's like she, she kept having burns. It's her own fault. And shitting herself. Oh, shitting herself. Bad there was diary. a guy, uh, Kate Ross was telling me a story the other day. He okay. says his, his mum's neighbours, uh, I think, or her mum's pal. It doesn't really matter. No. But the kids, <laughs> the, the granny had been looking after the grandchildren. The grandchildren had said to her, Mummy thinks Earth's flat. Okay Their mum had went down this route of like She'd started with anti-vax stuff of She'd course. found her selling the flat earth stuff Jesus It's wild out there It's wild Things are getting strange I can't wait to work with somebody that believes I work with one guy that kind of thinks He said that he couldn't respect anyone That thought 9-11 wasn't like an inside job It was all like a crisis actors and stuff oh. And you can You know People Nobody has DVDs anymore But you know how people drop off DVDs at the work Ken in the tea room There's always like books Here anybody Yeah 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 You would drop off DVDs Right fair dues But he dropped off A series of 9-11 Truther DVDs All which weren't Available in shops All which he'd sent away for Right okay Imagine doing that to yourself I've seen I know someone Who was into that as well And they gave me All the DVDs I wouldn't watch that Well I did watch them You know what It's incredible Yeah because it's just like we're saying, there's no consequences. Back 20 years ago, yeah. when you had these conspiracy theories, now they call it fake news yeah, or yeah. misinformation, a legalese term that you're not saying you fucking liar. Uh, yeah. But there was no consequences. You could just make a hint, say anything you yeah, want, yeah. and there's almost a, instantly you had followers, people yeah, believe in no you. Cons- well, the classic one's David Icke. Yeah, David Icke was just, laughed off the television, yeah. and everybody, everyone in the world in the UK said, "What a fucking idiot!" What an idiot! Forty years later, my auntie fucking thinks he's Messiah. Yeah, believes everything he fucking says. Now hold on, a thousand years from now, three hundred years from now, yeah, he could be. Oh, yes, exactly. He yeah. could be considered a Messiah. He in could the be wasteland. Yeah. But what's he's the difference? A, he's just a pure grifter. But what's the difference? But uh, yeah, he I could. Think, but you, you think know. he believes in it? 
The reason I think he does... You think he does, okay. The reason I think he does mm. is because he does do these six-hour or eight-hour talks. Yeah, Jesus. And he has no notes. That's a mania. He has no notes. He does it from beginning to end with breaks for water in the toilet. Mania. And he does the whole show... But he goes into even more detail And when oh. you see him It's not like he's just repeating the same words He's free he styling a wee bit Yeah oh. And he can go into detail And Has he come to Dundee? I don't think so No I don't think so But, he, but he's playing a big audience It's usually it? He does a he, he does like Brixton Academy and everything yeah. Although they're shut But the, the he, he does it so well He must but know it's it a in team, a way It's a team effort I think he's, you know? he sons his manager I believe It's quite it's, it's, and, it's, it's, and has a band And does all his music Okay That's, that's the way it always goes If you get so, you know, Christ my, my dad was a capable man I was in a band <laughs> he, You know He's made lots of money Grifting His son's in a band oh, but he's, it's made the a nature. Lot, he's made a lot of money yeah. A lot Yeah Yeah, yeah. And But I, I think he Imagine genuinely believes it to see him Imagine Well Here's the thing they're not all. Is no, it, we, a lot of people go to see chuckle. what this is all about. Yeah, for a ch- just to see that a lot of YouTubers will go, and you'll actually see a percentage of the audience are there to go. I want to see this. I uh, want to yeah. see what this is all about. Watching the other people in the audience. <laughs> uh, yeah, and mm. then there's there's like that. There's a lot of people who say, oh, "I'm just here because I'm curious. I'm just asking oh questions." God. No, they're all in. They're all. So there's two extremes People yeah. go This is absolute nonsense Yeah So I want to see it I wouldn't give the cunt my money just No to, Like that's, that's almost like I went to see Steven Seagal Playing Perth Concert Hall Yeah that's And it would have been funny For the, the initial money. Minute and a half I would have been laughing But then you're sitting there For an hour and a half of songs Yeah He doesn't even If you see them He doesn't even play the guitar He he holds the guitar Like you've handed You go Oh mum I got a new guitar Hold it And they go Oh I'm scared of it That's the way he holds the guitar Because he can't play That's ballsy isn't He can't it? play in Brazil in New Year, uh-huh. you wear white. White yeah. everything. There's no white in Dundee, is there? There's no white in Dundee. You ever seen a Dundee wedding? Uh, yeah, I've seen a, a Dundee wedding fight. Well, we've all seen that because where's the registrar's office? Because oh, they it's moved, moved it. It's a, it's a Tandoori restaurant now. <laughs> yeah. The t- the registrar's office was bang in the middle of the town. And oh, you could walk out past there. it. You walk past it. Fights Every day, the bride's kicking the fuck out of someone. Just vicious stuff. Oh my god! I, the the worst one I saw, I was sitting on the bus, and it was so bad. Right. The bus had to turn in the street oh, to get back. Get away from. They them. were knocking fuck out each uh, other. It was unbelievable. A lot, a lot of Dundee weddings end up in the cells. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A good, a good fifty, fifty percent of them. Fifty percent. Uh, weddings, the biggest fights and the most dangerous fights mm. of weddings. The worst ones are funerals. Funerals is where it the all comes fights, out. Fights, Jesus! It can all come out. Some horrible stuff can come out. Yeah, it's some horrible stuff. Abuse claims. The pub where it. I live, yeah, is dead. Nobody goes now. No, but oh, it's before a busy that, wee boozer as well. Oh no, not now, not no. now. They put on a like a Christmas party and a New Year's party. If there was ten people, I don't. You know what I mean? Jesus. It's that bad, and it's a big pub. They're massive it, pub. Actually. I was speaking to the owner of it, the, right. the landlord, and he's going, it's finished. They said, they said they can't see this working, you know. Pubs. It's just, it's done. There was a thing on the TV the other day, it was Jeremy Vine. Jeremy, right. And he was saying it's your civic duty, because dry January is a thing. Yes. And he says, no, you can't do that, because the pubs need your trade. So I you understand need... what he's saying, but, it's, but times change. And it's 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 a sea change that's not it's not going back. Well, young people aren't drinking. Young at people all. are not drinking. My dad we were just talking my dad about was it, saying, yeah. My dad was on the phone. My dad, my dad likes to go. Geez, a nice pint during the day, and I said, mm-hmm. Dad, it's great, but the young people are not. Do- no, they're my not dad doing used it. to say stuff like, "Oh, cash is never going away," but I'm like, "No, cash yeah. is dead." Yeah, there's things that people are not going to go. No, no reverse. But the pubs in Dundee, in my hometown, population of five thousand people. I shit you not, there's about 30 pubs. Oh, yeah. Pubs and licensed place. Well, where I live. They can't sustain it's it. It's just, it was all pubs. Yeah. Now it's all hairdressers. Cool. But as I said. They've just my, replaced them all. Mum and dad were saying, but people need somewhere to get together and chat. It's coffee shops. Coffee shops. Now, I think alcohol. Coffee shops aren't going anywhere. Will exist. But at the back of the coffee shop, you could go and stand with your mates and get a pint. I think the, the, they will li- change. They'll change. Yeah. Um, they'll evolve. A, Speaking about this other day, people, I'm always told The Apprentice is starting tonight. 
Okay. And we're always told entrepreneurial people, business people, that's where everyone is. That's where the juice is. That's mm-hmm. where the, the thinkers are. They seem to be so fucking stagnant in the UK. They don't see anything coming. Yeah. All these businesses go tits up. Mm-hmm. Like Debenhams went tits up. Debenhams wasn't a, like one wee business on a corner shop. Debenhams was a multi-million pound company. But it was Did they not see so something badly coming? run. You must see something coming down the line. Yeah. These entrepreneurs should be seeing the next opportunity. But Here's how badly run Debenhams was. Right. Debenhams was in a shopping centre called Overgate in yeah. Dundee. Huge shop. Big shopping centre. Really, it's only 20 years old, which yeah. is old now, but it's, it's it actually, give it its due, it's a beautiful place. Right? The Overgate. The o- Overgate, yeah. It smells of cookies, it's nice. It's a beautiful place, all glass front, yeah, so you look not, onto not, the no, old the, church. The Wellgate, not so much, the but well the Overgate's gate, nice. The Wellgate yeah. was always badly designed, yeah. but not the Overgate. It's a nice, beautiful it's place. Nice turn in, nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, now, yeah. In Debenhams, department uh-huh. store, several floors. Mm-hmm. They had uh, lots of different things, yeah. like Adidas and, uh-huh. and Jane Norman, who would sell ladies' clothes. Oh, wonderful. And then right along from it, in the same building, was a main Jane Norman shop. Well, that's kind of foolish. And this is the way it continued all I the way through. I used to go into Debenhams all the time, you know. just to walk through. I never used to buy it. Oh, anymore. no, I went through to get a shortcut. No, My never. work was on the other side. I've never shopped there, ever. <laughs> never. Never. But that's that, and the only reason I know that is because my girlfriend she shopped in there. Oh, but but why did, did they have both? British home stores as well was another one that went tits up. Uh, yeah, all these things. Vast shops, they don't see it coming down the line. But they there sh- are shops that are succeeding. Yeah. And it's like B&M Lush, and stuff like that. Because Lush is a fucking cult. How much soap do you need? That's true. Do you remember the naked people over at the front? Uh, a few years ago, I'll come out of work. And there was just naked girls standing about, but they just had their aprons on the front, oh. but they're completely naked apart from that. Did you buy and soap? Do you know what it was? All the old wifeys are going, well done, pet, and you're good for you, and all this sort of thing. But the girls that were doing it, they'd been in Lush all day, so they were, you know, Lush, it hurts that your head, this stink. Gives you a sore head, yeah. So they were stinking. It's, they're not good soap to use, they're jaggy. What? I like a round I've soap. I've never had one. No, they're square, they're like a brick. Why? When you wa- when you try and wash your body with it, it's got There's co- an horrible edge. corners. What the fuck? It's weird. This so I, a, a bar cult. of soap's not comp. Well, I've joined a cult. Oh, oh, velvetizer. Oh my god! If I hear one more thing about because I'm a VIP now, I've joined it, and I've just <laughs> realised this just it's like something's going on in this country, and mm-hmm. I think we're about to go. I think I think I think I think we'll get topple everything. We'll get topple the non chocolate people. Why? It's just, it's an undercurrent. It's like Fight Club with chocolate. <laughs> I'm getting phone calls through the night from them. Suggestions. I think there's a, I think the velvetizer machine's like the bloody thing out of Hellraiser. I think if I can only manipulate it in a certain fashion, it's getting disco. I'm going to go into different worlds. Worlds just a pure chocolate. You're not a well person no, at I'm all, not, are I'm you? not really. You have Everyone's, too much time no, on I your went, hands. I went, well, this is how it's said. I went to work. I thought I was being a bit middle class, you know. And hey, Abdi's like, what have you been doing Moving up in the world. I says, got a velvetizer. This is, a, I've got a velvetizer too. Oh, Some no. other member of staff that, I've got a velvetizer. The cleaning lady, I've got a velvetizer. They're all winking at each other. All Y'all the know. folk at work in the cafe, we've all got velvetizers. I didn't even know what it was. People, members of the public walking past, you're talking about velvetizers, we've got velvetizers. She's got two velvetizers. I need to batten down the hatches. You're the only person with a velvetizer. Yeah. This is like body snatchers. I think it's aliens. Yeah, I'm not happy about this at all. In Colombia, uh-huh. you carry around an empty suitcase. With a body in it? Just empty. No, it says empty. Well, you say it's empty, but it's got a body in it. It's you Columbia. would recognise. You would recognise it wasn't How it's got empty. wheels, you wouldn't know. That's a good point. I was once walking down the Royal Mile okay. in the festival, and I fucking hate it. All those fucking Cambridge. Loathe it. Cambridge fucking You're meant to like, love the festival because it's No, the fuck, shit. O- fuck off, Cambridge. Fuck, get to fuck. Anyway, they have off. a thing called battle poetry. Oh. <sighs> so I'm going down, and there's all these like Tarquins and fucking high yes. handing me flowers. And I just, I don't even touch them. Again, they hand mm. them to you, but I just, I don't touch them. So they just drop them and then look, I'm, I'm not one, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Someone grabs my ankle. That's not good. And I look down, <laughs> and there's a fucking suitcase. And there's some person there's in, a it, guy in it, and he's reaching out through the zip. Should have kicked fuck out. Him. Should have, should have just taken and taken the handle it. and run with it. He's not run with out. it, thrown it into a pond. <laughs> yes, put a lock on I it. I hate you know, the MI6 fringe. agent guy that they found him in a suitcase. Well, had a wank while shutting his. Well, they're saying he was assassinated. Oh, I was, it's a it's a shame. 
been it's terrible. It's, someone's died, and if you've died on a wank, that's awful. If you've been assassinated, that's terrible. Yeah, he's sniffing his, sniffing his own perineum. Oh his God! Thing. There was a thing on the TV now. the other day. It's a shame, and I'm no one to mock this poor lad. But you're but going to. I'm going to. But this <laughs> kid, this kid in his late twenties, I think, okay. went across to Jamaica, and he was killed. Oh Jesus! And Jamaica can be quite a dangerous place, so it said kill, and I thought, oh, fuck. Poor lad, he's been caught up in something. Again, like, mm-hmm. dra- he's been shot. At, he's innocent. Oh, terrible. He's just yeah, been hit yeah, by a yeah. bullet. Something. So they go to his family. And his dad was like, oh, can he was just starting his life. And um, it's terrible what's happened. And I felt for the guy. But I thought, lad, if dad seems a wee bit rough. A wee bit okay. rough. Okay, okay. He was shot in Jamaica. He was shot 13 times. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you're thinking that doesn't seem that seems like a targeted attack. Yeah, someone's been and meaning it, it. No, he's so the the Jamaican authorities are saying he's a criminal and he's been. Oh my god! Somebody's taken out a hit and him. He's been killed. So it's a, he's dead, but it's it puts a different complexion on things, shall we say? Something happened to me. I can't go into details. You were assassinated. No, 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 no. Like, um, like there was someone I knew, uh-huh. and the last time I was with them, I was holding their baby. It was a little baby. Okay. I got to hold a baby and they went, hold it. And I went, I don't want it. Oh, the next thing you know, you're holding this baby and terrified to Lovely move. Enough. Babies are robust. You when they're a bit them. older, they're ah, better. They you bounce. can talk to they them. Bounce. But when they're that young, oh. They bounce. And I found out very recently uh-huh. that that, that child baby's now been, 47 years old. Been murdered. Oh, Jesus. How old would they have been? 15. Oh, jeez. In Dundee? No. 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 Um, they were um, shot. This county lines kind of stuff, it, drug related. and it was drug, yeah. Oh. Fifteen. The count- they should be in their fucking house. They should be uh, playing yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, just... And People, it was it, the county lines. Quite stuff shocking. Is fucking shocking. So the cuckoo, they go out into the the can done deal have county lines shit mm-hmm. going on, but it's, it'll be in far far. Mm-hmm. They find some a lot. Often it's maybe an adult we learn in difficulties, and they just move into the house, mm-hmm. and then they use children. And they just groom these kids who are runaway kids, kids whose mum and dad, like, just just sad kids. Yeah. And offer them this gang and this wee family. Mm-hmm. It's like a hot, it's like fucking Fagin. Again, it's yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. But this, That's awful. This situation, when I, I saw the person and I saw their, actually there was a picture of their coffin. Oh. Uh, That's You know what it, it done? Oh. It put, uh, the kibosh on me ever looking for anyone online again no don't and i'll tell you something it's so much so i i don't want to see anybody no no don't look ever again up. online no because no. sometimes you're curious of people uh, at your don't school. Do i'll never i have, I have looked for people again. in the past yeah because i quite like it when people who i expected to be in some form of prison you know ne- there's nothing there's just nothing they've vanished they, they got people it. my generation mm-hmm. are the, probably the last generation who just Possibly have no nothing online. Yes, this is because the, last the boomers one. have all retrospectively gone online in a yeah, big way. That's it. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But no, I I am um, quite Don't serious. Do it, mate. I will Don't never do it. ever look again. Jesus, what do you think, do you think of Jeremy Renner? Fuck. I suspect he was drunk. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, those cats are notorious. Oh. For even just moving because they hook clothes. Ah, of course they do. Because they've got exposed tracks. Oh, how he's alive, he's a very lucky boy. And exposed tracks are one of the most d- dangerous things. Yeah. He was doing his neighbour a f- help and hand yeah. by doing the clearing it. But He'll he, have been drunk. It started moving, so he went th- to jump and it caught him. That, l- that does happen with them. Being crushed by a, a snowplow. Mm-hmm. Gives him the face of a Dundee Alky, if you notice. Know, his photograph of <laughs> he him. Just he looks just, like this guy's going to be in the centre. <laughs> the glasses are squint, the black eye. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that guy you see outside Woolies. He Who's... fucking might not have his leg this week. You Is know he? What? It might come uh, off. Yeah. Jesus, wow. man, it's a. T- he's had a lot of injuries. Is he? Serious. Jesus. Well, remember that operations? Poor, remember that poor bastard from me, seventeen. He drove. He fell out his own car and drove over himself. <laughs> Have you ever seen his videos? I can't remember his name. He's the wee short one. A horrible old bastard. Horrible old bastard. But he he puts up videos on YouTube of him getting thrown out the job center. You have to go, yeah, fuck it. And they're like, get out. You're, and he's like, he goes on about his secret uh, societies in the job oh, center. He he's mad? completely mad. Oh, but he's a little, he'd one of those little faces you want to punch. Yeah, like Robbie Bulldog. Williams' face. 
fucking yeah. that wee face. Yeah, Robbie like, Williams. You just want to start knocking them. Yeah. I was what did you see that guy Salt Bay? Have you heard of him? Yes. <laughs> I was watching him about him. YouTube's fantastic, but I didn't realise he was on the he was he, he got right into the World Cup and he, he had just went in he's like who are you? And he's just walking around with the, the trophy and everything. Dude, he's, he's like, tiny. It's like get the fuck out of here. No, they just let him grab it. He was he was, he was in the fucking goal and everything. It's cause the, the, the president of FIFA he fucking buttered him up the night before. Cash. That seems to be FIFA's the it's the way it's, oh. it's cash. Now the 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 carrying around the suitcase it reminds oh, me uh, when I was a Andy, I'll be Andy. Early twenties. Uh -huh. I thought nobody takes me seriously. Eighteen nineties. Yeah, I'm nobody takes me seriously, and I saw in a second hand shop a leather briefcase. Oh, I can imagine. Right, and you know what it was? Two pound. Oh wow! And I went, mate, could I have that briefcase? Mm -hmm. You certainly can. He said the codes in it, so you could change it. I went, oh, this is wonderful. Gold clips, oh. black leather, not a man. But you were dressed as you are with briefly. Yeah. So I'm walking uh, with it, and I'm going, buy sell. This is amazing, uh, right? Yeah. So I'm waiting on the bus, right? Uh -huh. And I'm standing there, going, I'm going places in life. I've got a briefcase, uh -huh. and this guy next to me goes, "Hey, mate, why'd you steal that?" And I didn't cry. Oh but on God. the inside I was crushed I remember being on the London Underground And you saw a lot of guys with briefcase And I thought to myself Most of these guys will just have like a banana yeah. And a copy of the Daily Sport in it I, I, The brief Anytime I see somebody with a briefcase I think they're the guy that's lost their job yeah. But they've not told the wife <laughs> And they just, and they go just keep on the, going on the train all day All day <laughs> The briefcase Well the thing is This briefcase I only threw it out about 10 years ago I found I, it in I, a cupboard I take it the briefcase It's now like the man bag I yeah. think even business guys Will have the They'll have bags and everything just, Yeah an attaché case we are, Have a we good are, courier bag Yeah, yeah You no, don't need an a An attaché case with like a handcuff You cuff to it Full of diamonds I The cut off your hand I Had to Um Take How can I say this A briefcase Somewhere uh -huh. And they said It will be attached to your hand With plastic Yeah It's a plastic um, <laughs> And you get Paperwork and everything And I was like I'm not doing that huh? And it was a particular place I was working for And they went That's not a problem they went, It's okay We'll get someone else to do it They were just seeing Who would go <laughs> They were I noticed they weren't Getting on a flight to do it They were asking other people To do it There was a guy was, used I'm to not doing it A guy used to walk me In the pub he took the takings to the pub, one, the bank one day, uh -huh. and that had a you were attached to it. Oh, that's ridiculous! You just let it go. He took it to the bank, uh -huh. but he'd fucking dropped it, and it set off the smoke bomb. So he's completely covered in purple <laughs> ink. He came back five minutes later, <laughs> ruined all the money, ruined himself. I was Would working for a place, off. Would and the off. cash had to go down, but not far from yeah, the bank. We yeah. had to take the cash down, yeah. and they said, "Oh, it's it's Thursday afternoon. Get the cash down." And they took the cash down at the same time every week. And I went, That's insanity. What are you doing? That's insanity. I says, Take it down tomorrow morning. There's no, no, this is the time we take it down. I says, Someone could be watching. Yeah, and quite... you're carrying it in money bags. Yeah, it's fucking foolish. You're going to get killed. Fucking foolish. Every week they've done it. Couldn't was, believe it. I remember years ago, was it not in Glasgow, but the, 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 uh, the, the cash, the security core van had stopped at a bank. Right. And the guy just left. The money sat Kenny he, he had a fag or something He yeah, just left, he just it. left it. And these two wee kids Came along and just pinched, it. It. Just yeah, pinched it Yeah wonderful I would run like fuck <laughs> I would have nicked it as a like kid the No Oh fuck I Money no. sat there No Oh I'm away with that <laughs> Just <laughs> go Kind of fleet yard as a wee kid They'd never catch you Oh like when I was Even oh. five years ago I was fleet. always running Yeah never no. catching you Now I just have to sit there with it Yeah In the Philippines Uh huh you, I've wrote, I, I've wrote a word I can't, what is that? Oh no. Oh, no, I can't read it. Wearing and eating anything round, everything has to so be you, round. So you thought it read wanking something round. I thought, like, why have I wrote wanking? <laughs> <laughs> Wearing something round? You've got to wear round things, so it's stuff with print on it that's like round. A, a badge, a round yeah, badge. Yeah, anything oh. round, oh, okay. and that brings luck. Okay. Having onions in Greece. Loving onions. But you can't say anything like onions. having onions. Came yeah, out for my tea last night. What? It's round Brussels sprout curry. Was it nice? It was delicious. Oh, good, good. It had, it's, it's a meat in it as well, but man, no. So I've, I ate that about 10 o'clock last night. So 
That's a bit late for a curry, isn't it? Give it. it. It'll be coming out fast. I don't want that coming out. I mean, in Dundee. Now, a lot of people, a lot of our uh, listeners have uh, spotted this recently because it's been going about that in Dundee, we get herring, fish, and put it in little dresses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To give to people. Yeah, that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen now, but you still, you get pictures of it. There's lots yes, of artwork. It's a nonsense. But why would you put a fish in a dress? I don't know. That's a sexual that's a thing. Weird thing. Yeah, that's a sexual some, thing. Yeah, the fishing people, some of the fishing communities is some strange stuff. Strange people. You're on a, a boat for a week. Yeah. And you're looking at that haddock going, well, you it's know not, what? No, it's not a haddock, my friend. What? It's a big flat fish, the fuck. The big halibut thing. Why? Because it. Just look at them. Just look at them. <laughs> <laughs> the wee mouth. The mouth. But yeah. they'll have the spine, that's dangerous. I know, you know, it's other the, the flat end you're in a bit. You ever stood on one of them? No, oh, I went right through my fucking wetsuit boot. Yeah, it didn't get me, yeah. but it went right. Uh, I mean, what the hell was that? Oh, uh, right through, big spine, brutal. Right in the Balkans, uh huh. Bread with a coin in it, that's what you do. That's like a lucky tarty in the yeah. Scotland's lucky tarty. It's not safe. Well, people would put a, a, a clutty dumpling would have money in it, that's right. Dangerous they, as they fuck. did away with it because folk choked on it all they the time. They were all dying in five pence pieces. people were choking on it. Yeah. They were just like, now remember, be careful, there's a five pence in there. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Uh, I heard what Ewan McGregor was on the TV the other oh, day. Oh, fuck, for what's something. he wanting? Just some shite. God almighty. Ken, Mr. Health and Safety, he hates health and safety. He's a dickhead. Oh, he's such a twat. His voice annoys me. I yeah, can, yeah, yeah. I can hear him smirking even on the radio. <laughs> He could hear a smirk. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can he's got that shit eating grin. Oh, the ladies love it. it. Oh, he's horrible. Oh, he's tub. horrible. Having that motorbike of his. Oh, his pal. God, he's such a dick. Oh, they're awful. Awful people. Don't like them at no. all. Now, in Ecuador, Ecuador, uh-huh. you burn effigies. I don't know what it's all about, but that's what they do. They burn an effigy on New Year. Is it the Peruvian worry dolls? Or is it Guatemalan worry dolls? I don't know. The wee dolls. And they're like little matchsticks with clothes on. They're beautiful wee oh, things. Right, okay. Come in a wee bag. Okay. And the worry doll is at night, you whisper your your troubles and worries to these wee dolls. You put them in the wee bag and you put them under your pillow. I'm constipated. And the, fo- the following yeah. morning they've dealt with your situation. You'll have a shit. But it, it'll have a work. It'll cathartic. Just talk, talking the thing out loud. Talk, saying words out loud is yeah. vital. Tomorrow, this morning, I'm not going to kill Derek. <laughs> oh, fuck it. It's See? worked so far. It's worked. Bella Lugosi, and then I always say that. No, that's my I mantra. say Bella Lugosi. That's my mantra. Do you know? Do you know how bad it's got? Uh, I wake up in the morning sometimes, uh, uh, and I look at my girlfriend, uh, and she wakes up, and I go Bella Lugosi. We both laugh, uh, but that doesn't help uh, me. I know you're okay now. Yeah, I'm fine. But I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, but we have we have guy Fox that we burn in this country. Effigies, yeah. Effigy, we do that. But he wanted he wanted. Uh, the Britain to be a Catholic nation, yeah, and you know, and he, now uh, he's he's uh, been turned into this good guy. No, he'd been horrible. He'd been horrible. He was wanting to kill everyone. It's, yeah, it's not good. No, 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 it's not good. No, everyone's a cunt. All histor- name one good historic figure. They're all cunts. Do you remember Guy Fox night, uh-huh. big bonfire, and you'd make a Dundee hand grenade, oh. and it would be a potato wrapped in tin foil, right. and you would bake it. But you'd throw it in too deep so it could never come back. But in half an hour, that thing would go. Kaboom. Every year, it was just hedgehogs would die. Hedgehogs. Some wee kid, some wee loner kid that was bullied would always make a hut in the middle of the bonfire and, and then die. get burnt to death. That probably killed as many people as chest freezers. It was chest freezers, uh, bonfires, and bears. Bears, yeah. But bonfires used to be huge things. Yeah, you get massive, massive all over the place. Just, just wild. fires, yeah. Yeah. Don't get them now. No, have you seen the wanking walrus? Yeah. <laughs> they banned fireworks. Was it Scarborough or something? Because yeah. they were worried it would scare it. That walrus doesn't scare easy. That walrus would just sit looking at the fireworks going, they're for me while he's wanking. <laughs> Both hands. Yeah. And then while he fell asleep. <laughs> we, their first what walrus thing. in years comes on our shores and everyone runs to see him and they take school kids to go and he's just sitting wanking. There's spunk everywhere. <laughs> he uses his toothpaste and these big tusks. There's spunk everywhere. everywhere. Oh, I bet it'd be right fishy smell and stuff. <laughs> oh, it'd be terrible. They've got a phenomenal suction of walrus. Oh my goodness. Because they use the they use the, 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 the tusks, they dig a bit and then they suck all the clams and that up. Oh, they're they're wonderful. They're big wonderful. lips. 
Oh, what an animal, though. I, I love the way everybody thinks dolphins are, right, like, kind of, like, ephemeral and fucking godly and, like, fucking zen. And they're dirty, wanky, raping bastards, dolphins. Uh, uh, yeah, they're they are, mad. Well, well, I've watched them yeah. kill the porpoise oh, for fun. They'll tear a yeah, porpoise like, apart, they'll rape it to death. Just for fun. They're terrible animals. Yeah, it's it's, no, they're, crazy. They're, they're not terrible animals, they're intelligent. And intelligent, and intelligence animals brings cruel. this. Yeah, Cruelty. it brings yeah. this. Do you remember it, going back to bonfire night? Did you ever do a line walk looking for someone's finger? No, but a lot of people I was at school, we got burnt. The, 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 the thingamajig sparklers sparklers were dangerous I love the smell of sparkler oh but yeah they are a very dangerous dangerous thing. as anything but the madness the, the, I remember you'd hear a bang uh-huh. and then within 20 minutes everyone get in a line oh, who's got torches oh. so you'd be shining looking for a I finger told you, I never there was, found no, there was one. a firework display in my hometown and this is again it was just some local guy that had probably been in the territorial army yeah and it was his idea to do it and the first rocket went up right but it came back but all the other fireworks were just in boxes. Just blew them. So the whole lot went <laughs> off in one go. And they were coming through the crowd at eye height. It was fucking hell. I told you this, I think, before. I was up at oh. Lockheed Park. Oh. And we thought, we'll go up the hill and look down. I've never been up that Madness. side. Madness. And I was watching. The last one went bang. And I went, all right, we'll walk up this way yeah. and around. And as I'm walking away... Is I... hanging off your chin? Is it a long light? Oh, is it? oh it's a bit of fluff. Oh, it's a fluff. A fluff. And... A bit of the firework oh, hit me right on the uh, top of the yeah, fucking yeah, head. Yeah. And I went, oh, that firework hit me. I had to me. work up the Then the girl in front of me got yeah. hit with a bit. I worked up top of Balgate Hill during the fireworks. I was lying on my back and it was all just coming down. Yeah. Mm. On drugs. On uh, drugs. <laughs> no, I was at work. <laughs> okay, in Scotland, what uh-huh. are we doing? Oh, here we in go. New Year. Let's hear it. We go swimming in the sea. No, I don't. Now, it's people who don't swim in the sea. They go in at the sea. Well, they on have New that Year's thing Day. in the ferry, and it's just grotesque. And it's horrible. It's old people it's going, gr- oh, let's go in. All the hemorrhoids bobbling about. It's just appalling. Terrible. They call it the big duke. Do yeah. they call it the, the thing? The, is, the right, rotted duke. I surf here. Yeah. I have a five millimeter wetsuit in summer. Yeah. When you go in there, you have no concept of how cold no, it is. Freezing. Not good. No. Not good. So, what else have we got here? Uh, Can't remember the t- last time I went swimming. I think it's been 15 years or more since I've last swam. What? I'll go swim. swimming, man. It's good for no, you. I can't be asked with it. You know what they don't ever, ever mm. tell you about with mm. the big duke? Uh-huh. Right? They don't ever Is tell it you. the big duke? I think. That, something like that. The heart attacks. Oh, I. There's tons of heart attacks and there's, there's ambulances lined mini up. strokes. It's all stuff. old people. Yeah, so they go in and they just shock into the water. Jump water out. shock. You can get over it quite easily if yeah. you're able to get out and you're wanting to be in the water. Yeah. Go in, get the shock, come, come out, out. Go back in. Let it dry, then uh-huh. go back in and you don't feel it. Right. It's okay. a, it's a, it works aye, absolutely aye. fine. Okay. But if people jump in and they put their shoulders and their head under first time, that could stop your fucking heart. Oh, fuck. That could stop your heart. You've got to be careful with that. But then again, if they're old people running in water at fucking New Year's Day, stay there. I don't care Well there's an old guy That used to do it It's like he a used, new year He used cult. to come into my work All the time This old posh guy For the ferry And he used to do the duke <clears throat> But he used to fall asleep He had these two walking sticks And I saw him <laughs> one time In Reform Street Sound asleep standing up <laughs> Maybe the only thing Keeping him going Yeah like Get that. the heart going again <laughs> 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 Because they say this jumping in water Is good for you Cold, cold water, water They say cold water Is good for your circulation It's good for your um, immune system and everything It just kind of gives it a wee kickstart But I'm not doing it Because I'm but fucking the, lazy But what happens I'll have a cup It's of tea because your biscuit. body goes into shock right. All your capillaries open To get the blood flowing yeah. So you go Oh my blood's flowing better No you, you're you're fighting for survival ah, okay. So it's kind of a misnomer I don't, okay. I don't know ah, In Finland Oh those fucking doer bastards they, They're charmers oh. I knew a Finnish girl No sense of humour She says we don't laugh They don't Right and I was They're in her in house. Finland, what's to laugh about? I was in her house uh-huh. and I made her laugh because I told her I would laugh so hard I would be sick. And she right. went, There's no such thing. And I made her laugh so hard she was sick down her nose. Okay. I just I said something stupid. Did you get naked though? No, no. I didn't want to kill her. That's right. that, that's that's <laughs> the ultimate laugh. I think I don't think they have much of a festive season because it's fucking snowy all the time. I think they get two days off. Just miserable. And they're off the twenty fifth and twenty sixth. Then back to work. Back to that's work. fair enough. I like that. Yeah. That's, no. So what they do is because no one's come back to work here. Everybody's, Everyone's Christmas, stayed off. We're still in the middle of Christmas. You'll find in this building, 
with everyone being self-employed, they'll go, I'll get going again maybe mid-January. Yeah, and people good. start coming in, but it's really February before it gets going again. Okay. Lazy bastards. Lazy bastards. So they melt a small tin horseshoe in a spoon, uh-huh. pour it in cold water, whatever shape it takes. There's a similar one in uh, Germany as well. Okay. Um, it takes shape, represents the coming year, and you get a book and it tells you what you get. So if you get like, it looks sort of like a broom, and all oh. this sort of thing. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh. It's going to explode in your face, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Boiling lead into cold water. Bang! Hospital. Oh. Oh. Estonia. Uh-huh. They overeat, deliberately overeat, which is every day in Scotland. Yeah, that's me. Look at that's that. My that's my life. You. Yeah. And this is the one I like. In Italy, uh-huh. there's furniture throwing. Now it oh. goes right out the balcony or right out the window. And whatever it is, a chair, a settee, a TV unit, just straight out the window. Do you, do you tell people in advance? Well, I or think they would. Lob it? <laughs> well, if if it goes on all the time, you know it's it's like Mem- the purge. You can't go out. Remember in Boots Corner that rolling pin fell out and hit a kid in the head. Yeah, and it was all just hushed up. It was like it wasn't a big thing. The kid was hit by a big marble rolling pin. <laughs> Just and I was just like Boots were like God you're being a bit over- You think you're living In a world now It's all kind of litigious And everybody's yeah. like Suing everybody But a kid gets hit By a rolling pin And they're all just like Laughing off I remember I sued uh, Some place I'd love to sue somewhere Perth College Well I, I, I didn't get to I'd be point. willing I'd... to lose a finger For a decent payout <laughs> It was We just got to the letter yeah. Writing stage okay, It yeah. wasn't going to court Or anything Okay And I said to them I said look I'm going to take legal action If this isn't sort And they went <laughs> Like, you know, I'm going to take legal action. They just laughed. I fucking did, and I fucking won. Yeah, yeah. But they la- They didn't... They, no. We don't get it in this country. Because you were dressed like that and you had a Natasha case, your little leather briefcase. They didn't take There's you serious. There's nothing wrong with my fucking... No, that's why they did. They <laughs> should have took me serious. Oh, God, hold on a minute. They didn't take you serious, and one of them look- happened to glance... Shit, oh, fuck, he's got a leather briefcase. There was stickers on it and everything. <laughs> stickers on I it. I think that's where I failed. I put all my Powerpuff stickers on it. Uh, Powerpuff uh, girls, uh, yeah. Uh, that's not even a joke. <laughs> uh, power puff. That's an awful cartoon. <laughs> I got free stickers, so I put them on my leather briefcase. Yeah. In Ireland. Oh gosh, here we go. It just said banging bread. I don't know if that's the name of it or it's a statement. Well, this you get soda, but soda bread so good. Yeah, but is Irish that banging soda bread? bread, but banging bread. It says ba- I had no explanation. Oh, I don't know. Mark Devlin, he'll know. Ah, uh, he will. He'll know. He'll know. Banging bread. Well, maybe he does. Oh, were you saying he did that? Is that, is that an assumption? I don't want to make any assumptions about. You know Ireland's what they need past, to do? Go down to that bread. walrus and give it a half loaf. Oh god! Cover that thing up. <laughs> Just shagging a loaf. Have you seen that banana cleaner people are buying? A what? It's a banana. Cleaner. Oh yes, yes, I have seen it. It cleans your bananas just right, doesn't it? Oh my god, I've got four of them. <laughs> <Banana> <laughs> Could well, you line them up? <laughs> I wouldn't go anywhere near that thing. Imagine lining of four there. of them up. To tear it off at the root. Shh, that'd be amazing. Clean, clean bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I used to laugh at a guy when I was working at the art school. There was a guy, he'd come in with this plastic banana. Right. And in it. And then it was, was a, a banana. banana. <laughs> but it says a banana through nature's this perfect device for delivering food. And you've well, just got to put a well, man made. Like, I don't like it. Bruised, he said. Well, that's just a fuck. It's that evangelical guy, I uh, um, can't remember his name, and he says, look at the way the banana's made. It fits in your hand, it goes towards your mouth, it's the right size. Oh. No, it's man-made. That's the, the selective breeding. Have you seen a banana in nature? It's like four foot long, this massive... Massive thing. Huge. I've got a cut in my hand from a banana. Bananas can do that. The st- the, the, bananas the, can cut you, yeah, yeah. Bananas are dangerous. They are. Kind of health a good weapon. Don't get them in jails. Just a sharp end of banana. It's cursed, man. Fucking Jesus. hell. Man. That's why when people use fruit in certain ways, don't use a banana. Yeah. It will cut you to ribbons. Yeah. And you explain that to your doctor. Mm. That's like one of those knives I was talking about. They can't stitch it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they used to have little knives. They, they were, they'd have bayonets in the wall that were like triangular. That's it. That's, that's exactly it. Fucking yeah. hell, man. But I think they're against the Geneva Convention. Oh, because there's rules in war. We've well, that's why... Thing. Uh, uh, countries use contractors because yeah. it's only armies that are held by the Geneva Convention. The thing about a contractor, if you're caught, the ah, you're fucked. Yeah, but there was there was American the American mercenaries fighting for the Argentinians, and the British troops caught them, just shot them all. Yeah, yeah, 
crazy. You're wild a mercenary. Geese. You just wild get, Geese. He's wild Geese is, geese is a good film. I love There's that. a documentary about Scottish guys that went to assassinate Pablo Escobar. Right, okay. That's crazy. Wild. There's a, also a story. Mm-hmm. Our local regiment here is Black Watch. <clears throat> and, you know, Johnstown Massacre. Yeah. Oh, God. When people went back the next day, there was Black Watch soldiers about. Isn't that strange? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> it's the strangest thing. Well, it's probably just a conspiracy and a rumour and it's just made up, but it's uh-huh. a persistent one. <laughs> It's just, why would that be mentioned? It's like, if you're going to make something up, something so innocuous and bizarre. Ah, uh, here's some black water. So, I don't know. Well, that's an awful thing. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Isn't that weird? It's a oh, very well, strange tra- tra- Scottish traditions. Black bun. <laughs> yeah, the black coal. bun. A bit of coal. So, I'm not a big believer in tradition and things like that. I don't that. think tradition exists. No. I think tradition's a bit of a con. Well, they're still not buried at Old Pope yet. They said they put them in a Found zinc. Something. Put them in a zinc coffin and then a yeah. wooden coffin for what? I know that now. I don't Hold know. On, I know something what about, about it. About? Something magical. Magical. Benedict. About. Yeah. When he died, uh-huh. there's a papal hammer. Okay. And it looks like a um, a rock hammer. You know, oh, okay. geologists would uh-huh. use. Okay. Exactly like it, but it's beautifully ornate. Mm. And they hit the Pope in the head three times to make sure he's dead. Wow, <laughs> am I right? C- when the Pope's inauguration of the Pope, they have to walk over a mirror to check he's got a cock. That's right. Because there was, there a, was female a female Pope. pope. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah, that's. But Benedict was like covered up all these paedophiles. Yes, he's a piece of shit and a Nazi. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> so... There's not the t- Pele got a bigger turnout. Ah, that's Pelly, yeah. Uh, Pelly got a bigger turnout. But he was a, I mean, I don't know anything about football, but he was a charming guy Seemed as well. He was a friendly, nice chap. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Benedict was a fucking Nazi, fucking pedophile enabler. Yeah, the last thing the I saw The new Pope about, seems cheerier. He seems, he's Getting trying. back to basics. He's more trying, of the, yeah. More of the, wash his folks' feet in that. Imagine washing your feet. Oh, you can't at the he moment. He deserves to be Pope. You can't at the moment. I've got psoriasis, man. Oh, they're bad, like. Oh. No, they're not bad, but. Yeah. Vinegar, mate. Apple vinegar. cider vinegar. Okay. Just wash them in apple cider vinegar. I'm no joking. It's stress psoriasis. No, I, apple cider vinegar. I got it about a year ago and it just apple slowly Apple cider goes. vinegar. Just put a little bit in water and soak your feet. It does Genetic. Sort, in it'll my sort, family. To sort them out. Yeah. Sort Horrible. Them out. Get okay. it from my grandfather. Why? Oh. Oh, I wig as well. The, <sighs> um, yeah. Yeah, so that's new. So what did you do? New Year, was it a quiet nothing, one? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, I just, I just slept. Oh. I was doing the I was doing Friday night before Hogmanay. Yeah. Wait, Fran, and the two of us had a wee wander about in Dundee. And it was dead. Yeah. Dead. Nothing going on. Nothing going on. There's usually a lot of noise and people going about and there taxis nothing, picking mate. people no. up. Nothing. Oh, you know, there's no tax. No. There's no taxis now. What? What? You don't know this in Dundee. The taxis basically during on 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 Hogmanay there was thirty taxis for the whole of Dundee. What? They say the taxi drivers during COVID, they're like, fuck this. And they all just parked in and did other jobs. Guys have retired. There's just, nobody's making any money out of taxis. Because the pubs aren't no busy anymore. Oh my so, God, no, I didn't know there's this. No, there's no taxis in Dundee. Nobody I knew could get a taxi. Well, I, I worked for a taxi firm. Gone, they're all gone. And New Year and Christmas, no. holy shit, it was money, money, money. Gone, no, all gone. Nobody got a taxi anywhere. But there's like 500, 600 taxis. There's not. There's not. They're gone. COVID people were like, I'm not sitting in a taxi with somebody getting COVID. So a lot of taxi drivers are a bit chonky. Oh, that, yeah. I think a few of them I maybe. I didn't know yeah, this. Yeah, no, it's been, a, it's been a real Oh my nightmare. God, that's, because that was a real. There's no the taxi sitting job. about, in, there's no the taxi sitting about in the ranks. If you know, I've been noticing this I've for a while. I've not noticed that. I'm no. going to look though, because I was unaware. Oh, God, that was the fail safe, because like. When a lot of the drive, when a lot of people lost jobs in other places, yeah, yeah, they get, get, as long as you did driver's license, you, you could, could be a taxi driver. Because yeah. the place I was went, I put, put them through their test. Yeah, and the guy that used to test them, he was a cop, and he was one of the armed cops. Oh. He was like, oh, and he was about six six. He was like everything you could imagine. Terrifying. The nicest guy. Was he? I used to get a. a you'd go up, and he used to have uh, Mars bars and stuff, and and you go. Sit in Mars bar and a cup of tea. Well, no wonder oh, he was he's got his police pension and now he's getting extra money. He was so happy. nice. You see, a lot of retired police are as happy as pigs yeah. and shit. 
No, uh, yeah, taxi. He was a dangerous guy. Thing. But he used to do the, he uh, the yeah, testing. I, did, uh, I used to work in NCR. Yeah. And the department I was in was terrible. I've never heard shit like... I like a bit of banter. But yeah, I could but imagine. this level of banter yeah. was fucking grotesque. Mm -hmm. It was grotesque. Because I read the Guardian newspaper. The yeah, music, you were, It was shocking. Yeah. The yeah. things they would do, they would throw away food their wife had made them because they'd be accused of being a homosexual for eating pasta. <laughs> it was that kind of stuff. <laughs> they were terrible racists. They yes. would write them. So I'm, I ordered stuff for Tesco. So the Tesco delivery guy comes up and I've got my... So they're dropping off the boxes and I've got my... And I look up, it's a guy I used to work with and then see a complete prick of a guy. Yeah. And he, he looked at me and I just looked at him. But yeah, I never, just never, never said anything. Fuck all. Never said fuck all. But, but he was on NCR for fucking 25 years. That would sting bringing him. Bringing in such yeah, money. huge money. And now, it's not under, I'm not criticising the laddie for working, but the drop got, in wages for got working work, as a yeah. delivery guy for Tesco's. I knew a girl. The money was easy in NCR. I think I mentioned her. She was working in uh, Levi's. Levi's, yeah. Right. See, Levi's shut. And she yeah. went, but I'm okay, I'm a professional person. I went, no, you're not. You're not going to get anything from the, the skills no, that you have nothing. there. I says, you need to really think about what you're going to do. Yeah, and she yeah. says, I'm going to be fine. They will be fighting. And she just thought all businesses would be fighting over no. the women that worked in Levi's. No. And I was like, you need to really reassess. Yeah. But the money she must have went down into any job she went into. Yeah, shocking. They were all, it but they just so thought, much. this will last forever. Yeah. You don't think Levi's is getting closed or NCR. And not is only is it closed, they're all knocked down. They're, they're gone. gone. It's history. Yeah, it's history. It's be, it's, it's less than history. There's um, not a moat left. The, nothing. The Romans left some buildings. There's nothing. There's nothing. Nothing. That's right. Not a fragment, not a particle, nothing. There's it's nothing wild, left. It? And the whole cash machines is gone anyway. That's yeah, going. that's gone. Wait, cash it, well, you look outside. Um, when was the last time you used a cash machine? Uh, the first time in a year, just the other night, because it actually needed cash for something. Okay. Uh, it was to give, it, it was to give a kid a birthday money They're disgusting now cash machines Yeah, just, nobody cleans them no. There used to be three mm. cash machines outside uh, uh, Tesco's Then there was two And there's one And half the times you go up and notice that it's out of order Fuck And what? you're like I can't remember them being out of order so much Is this a deliberate point yeah, to get people in? Use, use, your use your cards yeah, use your Stop card, using use your the card. cash Yeah Oof. Well the thing is I have I always used cash and I thought, one day, the first day I have to use my card, mm -hmm. I'll keep using it. And that's what I did. Yeah. I'm an idiot. So, uh, using it. And I've used so little cash, I didn't realise how cash had changed. And there's little windows in it. It's plastic. plastic it's polymer yeah. now. And yeah. I didn't know. Well, this is, I knew cash was fucked the minute you could just buy a Mars bar with your, with your card. Yeah. Small yeah. amounts. I Small thought, amounts. That's, that's where it's that's at. It. Cash yeah. is gone. I never have change on that. To no. my detriment, because I sometimes need... you. Oh, fuck it. Well, it's like I want to wash my car yeah. next door or something. Where'd you get a pound coin? I don't even no. <laughs> you know. It's like no. they're so hard to get. Hell. It's so difficult. Yeah. But yeah, so that's the new year. Yeah. I hope everyone's had a lovely start to the new year and you're relaxed. Apart from Chris, I hope you had a terrible <laughs> time. I hope you had indigestion. From the food that uh, my girlfriend sent him. Uh, those tonics tea cakes. I chose, I chose the skips. They're a choking hazard. Yeah. Oh, so you sent them some snacks? Well, some tomato snacks. No, it was uh, it was my girlfriend. She sent him a box of stuff uh -huh. just because she th thinks he's a lovely person. Oh, she's mistaken. Geez. So she sent him this she box spoke of stuff. Them or seen them? Or yeah, I don't know. Any communication with them at all? I got help, I got help her. So I said, include the skips. Oh, yeah. A real man. It's a very food. Scottish thing. A skip. Oh, they stink. They stink. Their they whole stink. house. Because that's that was the plan. To open them up, go. Oh, here's a new flavour we've never had. Right you through the house, some, out the window. Should have put some durian fruit in there. Oh, <laughs> just <laughs> to wreck their house. Ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> just cough in there. 2023. Have you got plans for it? Uh, no. Me neither. No. I've got no well, plans. What's the point of making plans Well, the th uh, that's the funny thing. What's the point? Even with a show, I had lots of plans and everything just got in the way. Yeah, so now I'm going to do things when I'm able. Yes. When it's when we've got the when time. When you've got some juice left we're in you. Doing we've, it. we've got another two years worth of you and then that'll be you. And that's it. That's it. That's Five year a, plan. Five year plan. 26 days at four years. Shut the fuck up. It's many years yet. Oh many, God, no, I am many 52 years. this year. It's not many, it's less than a decade. You'll be 60. Yeah. Years. Oh, and fuck. and then if I remember like eight years ago, that was yesterday. You're 52 now. Jesus. Well, no, not yet. Well, in it's a, good in as. October. It's good as. 
ladies and gentlemen. Oh until, my god. Until next time. Later. Ta 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 ta.